Today, we embark on a journey into the heart of one of the greatest debates in NFL history, Peyton Manning versus Tom Brady. Who truly deserves the title of the greatest quarterback of all time? Every legend has a beginning, and Manning and Brady are no exceptions. Our journey begins in 1998 when a young quarterback out of the University of Tennessee, Peyton Manning, took the stage as the first overall pick in the NFL draft. The Indianapolis Colts, in dire need of a franchise quarterback, looked to Manning to be the cornerstone of their rebuilding efforts. Manning, born into a football dynasty with his father Archie Manning, having played in the NFL, carried the weight of expectations on his shoulders. The origins of Manning's greatness can be traced back to his football-rich upbringing, where he honed not just his physical skills, but also his mental acuity for the game. Now, let's shift our focus to the unlikeliest of heroes, Tom Brady. Drafted in the sixth round of the 2000 NFL Draft, Brady's selection by the New England Patriots was met with little fanfare. Little did anyone know that this unassuming quarterback out of Michigan would go on to rewrite the narratives of greatness in the NFL. Unlike Manning, Brady didn't have the luxury of being a top draft pick. Instead, he started as the backup to Drew Bledsoe, waiting for his chance to prove himself on the grand stage. The origin of Brady's greatness lie in his ability to turn adversity into opportunity, a theme that would echo throughout his career. The early encounters between Manning and Brady set the stage for one of the greatest quarterback rivalries in NFL history. Manning, the golden boy with a legacy to uphold, and Brady, the overlooked underdog with a chip on his shoulder, were on a collision course that would shape the narrative of the league for years to come. Peyton Manning, often hailed as the cerebral maestro of the football field, brought a unique approach to the game that set him apart from his peers. Manning's brilliance was not just in his arm strength or accuracy, it was in his mind. The Manning method started with the pre-snap ritual, a chess match where Manning, like a seasoned general surveying the battlefield, assessed the defense and orchestrated his offense accordingly. Who can forget the iconic Omaha call. Manning's audibles became the stuff of legend, a language only he and his teammates fully understood. Manning's communication extended beyond verbal cues. His intricate hand signals, a language he developed with his receivers, were a testament to the level of detail he invested in every play. This was the Manning method in action, a symphony orchestrated by the quarterback at the helm. Manning's preparation wasn't confined to the field. The Manning method extended into the film room, where he meticulously studied opponents, dissecting their tendencies and weaknesses. His commitment to preparation was legendary, and it laid the groundwork for his on-field success. Another aspect of the Manning method was the no-huddle offense. Manning's ability to dictate the pace of the game, keeping defenses on their heels, was a testament to his control and understanding of the game flow. It was as if he was playing a game of chess, while everyone else was playing checkers. We now shift our focus to the quarterback who redefined the meaning of clutch and calm under pressure, Tom Brady. Brady's approach to the game is characterized by his calm demeanor, especially in high pressure situations. Whether it's a crucial drive in the closing minutes or a Super Bowl with everything on the line, Brady's composure remains unshaken. This ability to stay focused under pressure has become a hallmark of his career. Behind the scenes, Brady's approach is grounded in an unparalleled work ethic. From early morning workouts to late night film sessions, he leaves no stone unturned in his preparation. This commitment to excellence has not only sustained his performance over two decades, but has also set a standard for the level of dedication required to compete at the highest level. Brady's approach extends beyond individual success to the team concept. His embrace of the Patriot way in New England, characterized by discipline, hard work, and team first mentality, became the blueprint for sustained success. It was an approach that transformed the Patriots into a dynasty 
and solidified Brady's place in NFL history. Numbers may not tell the entire story, but they certainly add an intriguing layer to the debate of who deserves the title of GOAT between Manning and Brady. Let's start with the raw numbers. Manning, with 71,940 passing yards, showcased his prowess as one of the most prolific passers in NFL history. His 539 touchdown passes were a testament to his ability to find the end zone consistently. Manning secured two Super Bowl victories and earned the league's MVP award five times. His 14 Pro Bowl selections underscored his consistency and excellence throughout his career. Manning's statistical achievements are indeed impressive. But now, let's turn our attention to the man from Michigan, Tom Brady. With a staggering 89,214 passing yards, Brady not only surpassed Manning, but became the all-time leader in this category. His 649 touchdown passes stand as a testament to his prolific scoring ability, while his seven Super Bowl victories are unparalleled in NFL history. Brady, a three-time league MVP with 15 Pro Bowl selections, has rewritten the record books and set a standard for success that may be unmatched for years to come. The statistical showdown between Manning and Brady goes beyond just yards and touchdowns. It extends to Super Bowl victories, MVP awards, and Pro Bowl selections, painting a comprehensive picture of their respective impacts on the game. Manning's prolific passing and numerous accolades versus Brady's unmatched success on the biggest stage. This is the essence of the statistical debate. Super Bowl victories often seen as the pinnacle of achievement in the NFL, weigh heavily in the statistical comparison. Manning secured two championships, leading the Colts and later the Broncos to glory. On the other hand, Brady's seven Super Bowl victories with the Patriots and the Buccaneers represent an unprecedented level of sustained success. League MVP awards, a recognition of individual excellence, are another factor in the statistical showdown. Manning's five MVPs speak to his consistent brilliance, while Brady's three MVPs, coupled with his longevity, showcase his ability to perform at an elite level over an extended period. Pro Bowl selections, determined by votes from peers, coaches, and fans, highlight the respect and recognition Manning and Brady received throughout their careers. Brady has a slight edge with 15 to Manning's 14, but what's clear here is their popularity and impact within the league. Peyton Manning and Tom Brady, both titans of the game, left an indelible mark not just on the field, but in the locker room and in the hearts of football fans worldwide. Peyton Manning's leadership was characterized by his vocal presence on the field. His ability to command the huddle and motivate his teammates was second to none. Teammates who had the privilege of playing alongside Manning often speak about the impact he had on their careers. His meticulous preparation and attention to detail set a standard that raised the level of play for everyone in the organization. Manning's leadership was about making those around him better, a quality that defines the truly great quarterbacks. On the other side of the spectrum, Tom Brady's leadership style was more about leading by example. Known for his relentless work ethic and commitment to the game, Brady inspired through actions rather than words. Former teammates often emphasized Brady's impact on team culture. His work ethic permeated the locker room, creating an expectation of excellence. Brady's leadership was about fostering a winning mentality, an unyielding belief that no deficit was insurmountable and no challenge too great. Beyond the playing field, both Manning and Brady have established impactful legacies through their philanthropic endeavors. Manning with his Payback Foundation and Brady with various charitable initiatives used their platform to make a positive difference in the communities they touched. Their leadership extended beyond the game of football, leaving a lasting impact on society. The influence of Manning and Brady extends to the next generation of quarterbacks, young signal callers, often speak about watching and learning from these legends, emulating not just their playing styles, but also their leadership qualities. 
The legacy of Manning and Brady is not confined to their playing careers. It's a torch passed on to those who aspire to follow in their footsteps. Beyond statistics and leadership, the X factors of both Manning and Brady set them apart. These are the moments that define greatness, the plays that elevate a quarterback from excellent to legendary. Peyton Manning's X factor was undoubtedly his football IQ, his ability to read defenses, make audibles at the line of scrimmage, and dissect opposing game plans in real time was a masterclass in quarterbacking. Manning's mind was a strategic weapon, turning critical moments into opportunities for success. The audible calls, the hand signals, Manning's X factor was his unparalleled command over the mental aspects of the game. It wasn't just about physical skill. It was about outsmarting opponents, anticipating their moves, and staying one step ahead. On the other side of the X Factor conversation, Tom Brady's clutch gene is legendary. When the game is on the line, when the seconds are ticking away, Brady has an uncanny ability to rise to the occasion. His poise under pressure and knack for delivering in crucial moments have become defining aspects of his career. Game-winning drives have been a staple of Brady's career, whether it's a regular season matchup or the Super Bowl. He has demonstrated an X-factor that can't be measured by statistics alone. The calm demeanor he exudes in the closing moments of a game is infectious and instills confidence in his teammates. Beyond individual accomplishments, Manning and Brady's influence has shaped the NFL landscape, redefining expectations for the quarterback position and leaving an indelible mark on the sport. Peyton Manning's impact on the game can be likened to a revolution. His mastery of the no-huddle offense and audibles at the line of scrimmage not only elevated his teams, but also transformed the way offenses operated. Manning's influence was evident in the rise of up-tempo, pass-heavy schemes that sought to exploit defensive vulnerabilities. Manning's legacy also extends beyond his playing days. His impact can be seen in the coaching ranks, with former players and coaches who experienced his brilliance, taking elements of his offensive philosophy into their own playbooks. The Manning effect is a lasting imprint on the strategic landscape of the NFL. Tom Brady's impact is synonymous with a dynasty. His success with the New England Patriots, including six Super Bowl victories, created a blueprint for sustained excellence. The Patriot way became a mantra, emphasizing discipline, adaptability, and a team-first mentality, a culture that transcended Brady's tenure in New England. Brady's influence on team culture has been a hallmark of his career. The expectation of success, the commitment to hard work, and the belief that any deficit can be overcome. These are principles that have permeated the organizations he's been a part of. His impact is felt not just on the stat sheet, but in the mindset of his teammates. The impact of Manning and Brady is evident in the evolution of quarterback play. Young signal callers entering the league today cite Manning's audibles and Brady's work ethic as sources of inspiration. The next generation of quarterbacks is shaped by the standards set by these two legends. In conclusion, the Manning versus Brady debate is a saga that will be recounted for years to come. Peyton Manning's brilliance and Tom Brady's unparalleled success have left an indelible mark on the sport. Whether you side with the cerebral maestro or the clutch performer, one thing is certain. Both quarterbacks have etched their names in the pantheon of football legends. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.